In close collaboration with UNESCO, Sprint Lab researchers at the University of Udine in Italy develop a specific technical triage methodology, NAMVISUS, Visual Inspection for Defining Safety Upgrading Strategies. This safety assessment methodology facilitates the decision-making process in the definition of rational and effective safety upgrading strategies and allow decision makers to take science-based decisions on where and how they may invest their available resources for strengthening the safety of schools, their students, and teaching staff in an efficient and economical manner. Visus uh, is a methodology developed in order to answer the question of a decision maker that would like to upgrade uh, uh, the level of safety of school. Visus is a methodology that works coherently with three main pillars of comprehensive school safety framework. The first pillar refers to safer school facilities, which are related to the physical environment of the school, location, schoolyard and buildings. The second pillar is related to disaster management at the school level, assessing whether the educational community has the capability to manage and cope with potential hazards in terms of precautionary actions and countermeasures. The third pillar is about the risk reduction and resilience education itself. It refers to building and reinforcing the capacities of students and teachers to understand how hazards become disasters and to identify the drivers and it is expressed in curricular and extracurricular activities. Indonesia adalah salah satu negara yang memiliki banyak ancaman bahaya alam seperti gempa bumi, puting beliung, tanah longsor, banjir, bahkan tsunami. Dan salah satu sektor yang sangat rentan terhadap bahaya alam ini adalah sektor pendidikan. Banyak sekali sekolah-sekolah yang berada di lokasi-lokasi yang mungkin tidak cocok terkait dengan kondisi alam yang ada. This makes the implementation of VISUS methodology in Indonesian school facilities urgent, as it can permit to assess and improve their safety. VISUS methodology ini bisa mempunyai nilai manfaat yang besar terhadap negara kita, negara Indonesia ini, apabila ini uh, ditindaklanjuti menjadi suatu program dari pemerintahan kita. Indonesia is adapting VISUS in cooperation with UNESCO, Sprint Laboratory of University of Udine, and the Civil and Environmental Engineering Faculty of the Institute of Technology Bandung. The implementation is also based on a study of 60 schools throughout urban, rural, and coastal areas. In order to give the elements uh, uh, that are necessary for decision making, it's important to define a pre-codified way to uh, collect the data on field. Visus uh, faced this problem uh, through a specific methodology that we test here in, uh, we use in, uh, in uh, Indonesia with the co collaboration of uh, ITB uh, that permit uh, to uh, the surveyor to collect uh, all the data that are necessary. Langkah berikutnya untuk adaptasi visus ini adalah mengkaji uh, pemanfaatan visus di dalam mendukung proses pengambilan keputusan atau mengembangkan kebijakan mengenai program-program rehabilitasi dan retrofit sekolah-sekolah di Indonesia yang di lakukan oleh Kementerian Pendidikan dan Kebudayaan. In evaluating the level of danger, surveyors take into account local conditions, structural performance, the structure's level of crisis, non-structural components, and functional aspects of the school building. The indicators that need to be analyzed regarding people's lives include locations, global structural responses, local structural weaknesses, non-structural elements and functionality aspects. Yang saya pelajari adalah bagaimana memandang sebuah infrastruktur dari sudut pandang baru. Tidak hanya bagaimana metode konstruksinya, tidak hanya bagaimana perawatannya, tapi lebih melihat bagaimana operasi dan maintenance dalam konteks uh, bagaimana penangkapan terhadap bencana. Ini sangat sesuai dengan apa yang kami peroleh dan berikan kepada anak didik 
terutama di SMK Negeri 6 Badung ini dari mulai kelas 10 di dalam pelajaran mekanika teknik yaitu tentang masalah macam-macam muatan ini juga ada kaitannya dengan eh, antisipasi aman eh, terhadap gempa awalnya sulit seperti saat dijelaskan pun eh, kurang mengerti dan kurang paham tetapi eh, setelah mencoba survei ke lapangan dan praktek lapangan itu lebih mudah dan bisa dimengerti jadi kita tahu apa maksud sama tujuan dari visus metodologi berkaitan sekali contohnya seperti pelajaran konstruksi bangunan itu seperti di sekolah saya ada pelajarannya sama terkaitan dengan apa yang dilakukan oleh visus-visus itu dan mengenal konstruksi-konstruksi juga sama seperti apa yang harus dilakukan bila bangunan itu rusak atau terkena bencana seperti longsor, banjir, gempa bumi. Uh, this methodology is a contribution of UNESCO and different partners of the Global Alliance for Disaster Risk Reduction and, Educa and Resilience in the Education System to help as a contribution to the worldwide initiative on school safety that has been launched in Sendai in 2015.